A growing number of rap artists are leaving the bad boy hip hop lifestyle for a more spiritual one. Now baby, give me one reason why I should change my ways. I'm a hustler. And baby, I love that. I'm ashamed to say I just can't get a game away. My kids are star. Moms won't have a place to stay. I got bills. I can't spend my money on thrills. Spend most rappers' deals on no long hills. The 500 you wanted with the moon was uh, part of P. Diddy's bad boy record. He accepted Islam in 2008 on a tour in Dubai. He joins me now from Saudi Arabia, where he's just finished performing an Umrah or minor religious pilgrimage. Thanks so much for joining us. You kind of look a little bit different to me today than how we've been seeing you in those pop videos. Is Loon still in there somewhere? Moon is uh, working his way out of my system. Moon, long story. Actually, I moved to um, California when I was like 13 years old. Cats out there, like all the real street cats, kind of embrace my New York style of crazy. And it's like, yo, homie, you know me, yo. Okay. And after a while, I just broke it down to Moon. I came in the music business with pure intentions. And once I entered the business, the first couple of records that I did, propelled into success, I started to indulge in this lifestyle. It was official. That is our last night to party in Taipei. I've been drinking white liquor and beer all the whole duration of my trip. You're so insecure, and that's what I love about you. I never leave. I started to find myself, losing myself, for the sake of success. But everybody's looking at this one dimensional perception of my life. Saying, look at this brother, man. Look how he has the time in his life. Look at the videos. Look at the cars. Look at the jewelry. I know I gave my heart to Kamora, Mary J. I'm trying to give y'all the world. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all be watching videos. I see the same club scene, the same five video chicks, just the same old bitch. I'm still a 45th At this point, I'm finding myself traveling to Muslim countries. What is it like hanging out in Dubai? What did, what did you, you've been here a few times already, though, right? Yeah. This, this has been more of a learning experience this time because, you know, I've always been, like, passing through Dubai and always been, like, on, like, a tedious schedule. But this time, I got a chance to move around a little bit on my own. I ran into Islam so much, it was no way I could deny it. I would be in certain cities and I would hear the Edan being called. And it sound better than any record I've ever heard. Just hear everybody stop to the point where you can hear people's hearts beating. You can hear people breathing. This was what I was looking for. This is what I was searching for. I didn't need another car. I didn't need another chain. I needed this love. In the fullness of time, when everything's done and dusted, how do you want Loon to be remembered? Me, I want to be remembered as a real person. As a person who embraced life. Hey, yo, man. Nowadays, man, life is so short, man. And it's like the way we live in, a lot of us don't even know why. But I know one thing, man. You only guarantee two things, man. Life and death. <laughs>